Well, Enlightenment Garden, we are now into the first week in March 2023. And as you can see in front, spring has sprung. Today I want to talk about apricot varieties that do very well in a hot desert climate like we have here in the Phoenix, Arizona area. The two varieties of apricot that do best in our climate are Katie and Gold Kissed. And I happen to be growing both of them. So in front here is my Katie apricot. This was planted in 2016 as a 15 gallon tree. And you can see it's full of bloom set right now. This is a little bit atypical. Generally, we don't see this much bloom set because this variety is said to need 300 to 400 chill hours, which we don't typically get here. In my area, we've been seeing a lot warmer winters lately. Of course, this year was the exception, but typically we see something between 150 and 200 chill hours. So in the more typical years, Katie will give me a decent harvest. I'll get maybe 100 apricots off this tree. Katie variety puts on a large apricot. It is sub-acid, so it's gonna be a sweet taste, a little bit more plain. You don't get complexity from the fruit, but definitely kids would enjoy it. Nice sweet flavor and good, good sized fruit. And these will ripen up in May. Because we had such great chill hours this year, we have a lot of bloom and we're gonna have a lot of fruit set. Um, this will definitely need to be thinned out so you don't have limb breakage and you have better quality fruit. So I do like Katie. It's uh, definitely a good choice for our, our climate, but I wanna show you another variety that I actually think is better. And that's the Gold Kissed. This too was planted in 2016 in my yard but it was planted at a three gallon size and I had just picked it up at Lowe's. This variety needs less chill hours, said to only need 200 to 300. However, really, even in those warm winters where we're only getting around 100 chill hours, this variety puts on the fruit. I'll get several hundred apricots off this tree. So the difference being the Gold Kiss will consistently bear fruit for you, whereas the Katie really needs higher chill hours, more of that long cold winter like we got this past winter. Also the fruit is a little different. Unlike Katie, it's not sub -acid. This does have some tartness to the fruit, which I like. It's a sweet tart flavor, again, medium to large apricot. And that complexity is just something I enjoy more in my fruit. I like something more than just straight sweetness. So you can see this too is just covered in bloom and will set a lot of fruit for us. Again, ripening up in May, same time as the Katie. I wanna also point out the size of the tree. As I mentioned, I planted this as a three gallon, went in the ground at the same time as the 15 gallon. And you can see that this tree has gained pace with that 15 gallon tree. It's just as big, so that's just another tip like I've mentioned in other videos, really don't see the need of getting a large tree. Your smaller trees will actually root faster. They don't have the tendency of being root bound, so they'll spread out and they will eventually get as large within a few years. So you can save some money up front by buying a smaller tree and avoid also having any kind of root bound problems with your tree. So if you were to ask me which one, I would definitely say the Gold Kiss is the preferred. And you don't need two varieties. Either one of these on its own will bear fruit. They are self-fertile. So if you're looking to add an apricot to your yard, definitely a nice choice for the backyard landscape. It is one of those trees where, you know, the harvest all comes at once, so you have to have a plan for how you're gonna preserve the fruit since it's not really practical to eat all of the fruit that the tree produces. So my plan is to do some freezing, maybe some dehydrated apricots, and also some apricot brandy. As far as care, just want to mention that these trees are really pretty adaptable to our soil. I don't know what rootstock um, both of these trees came on, but I have a feeling they weren't, you know, rootstock that was designed for clay soil 
and you can see they've adapted great. Really don't have to do anything special, just your normal amendment. I like to put in, you know, half cactus soil at planting, just so that you're not planting in that straight clay soil and you've got some more oxygenation happening down by the roots where they're not getting smothered. Fertilization is also nothing all too special. I'll just fertilize this tree, you know, three times a year, spring, summer, and fall. As far as location, both my trees were in full sun at planting. They do struggle when they're young, like that three gallon size definitely struggled its first summer here because it didn't have protection of its canopy. It was quite a small tree at that point. But once they're established year two and beyond, they're gonna have a strong canopy of leaves that will protect them from sunburn. Apricot's going through its first summer. You may want to paint up the trunk. You know, just put some trunk paint on there or the Ivy Organics, and that'll help protect it from sunburn. I don't need to do that with this established tree because this is going to be full of foliage and the sun is not really going to be directly hitting that trunk with this age. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments area. As always, thanks for watching and happy spring.